Hey what's up everyone, Apple introduced their first ever iPhone in 2007 that came with 3.5 inch display and a Samsung processor and after that year in 2008 Apple introduced their second generation phone which came with 3G network and again Samsung processor 3.5 inch display and some improvement before that last year and later that year Apple again with some little upgrade they introduced their iphone 3gs after that in 2010 apple introduced their iphone 4 and it came with a larger display which is 3.5 inch and apple processor which is apple bionic chip a4 and in 2011 apple introduced iphone 4s that came with new apple chipset which is a5 and a slightest upgrade in their camera department after that, in Apple, <coughs> 2012, Apple introduced iPhone 5 that came even larger display, is 4 inch and a new chipset, and the slightest downgrade version, which is iPhone 5C, that also introduced in lower price, which is 9.99, and then upgrade, which is a higher upgrade version, which is iPhone 5S. In 2013, they introduced. 4 inch display 3d touch and that came for the first ever iphone that came with the touch id after that iphone 6 introduced in 2014 with a bigger display which is 4.7 inch and the apple a8 processor and higher camera and the bigger version which is iphone 6 plus that also introduced bigger display and a bigger battery after that apple introduced iphone 6 as that solved they are iPhone 6 a band gate problem and a faster touch ID and 3D touch for the first time they introduced it. And the 6s plus is again exactly the same with 6s but a higher display and higher battery. After that Apple introduced new iPhone which is the similar with iPhone 5s body but slightest new processor which is iPhone SE in 2016 they introduced it. And Later that year, in 2016, Apple also introduced iPhone 7 with 4.7 inch and a new chipset processor but this time for the first time they introduced water resistant and the iPhone 7 Plus that came with two cameras on the back which is 12 megapixel and camera improvement and iPhone 8 that introduced in 2017 slightly upgraded version with the camera and two-tone display but for the first time they also introduced in this year the wireless charging for the first time in this iPhone and in 2017 they again for the first time introduced iPhone 10 which is used X but it's not X it's iPhone 10 and for the first it's full view iPhone full view display I mean. and it's slightest downgrade version this is iPhone 10 R with IPS display 6.1 inch display they introduced that after that slightest upgrade version of iPhone 10, which is iPhone 10s introduced in 2008. I mean 2018, 5.8 uh, inch and new chipset and iPhone 10s Max that also came in 6.5 inch display and a higher camera and a new chipset obviously like every year. Then 2019 Apple introduced iPhone 11, which is the upgrade version of iPhone 10R improved sound camera and everything and also iphone 11 pro along with the iphone 11 they also introduced a 11 pro with a super retina xdr display and three camera on the back and also iphone 11 pro max that came with a higher camera which is the bigger size sensor and obviously bigger battery and display in 2020 they introduced iphone sc which is the second generation of iphone sc slide is to upgrade a chipset but the same body with the iPhone 8 and iPhone 12 mini also came in 2020 that is similar with iPhone 12 but a smaller display and a smaller battery and iPhone 12 exactly the same with iPhone 12 mini but 6.1 inch display and a higher chipset and higher camera ceramic shield etc like the same with and iPhone 12 Pro they introduced lighter scanner on the back and higher camera again they improved it with 6.1 inch display for the first time the Pro made with 6.1 inch and Pro Max which is 6.7 inch and this all 12 series is introduced in 2020 after that in 2021 Apple 13 series is introduced 
again and maybe the last iPhone 13 mini version is this and exactly the same with iPhone 13 just a smaller body and iPhone 13 came with 6.1 inch and higher display battery size is larger than comparing to 13 mini and 13 pro they used macro photography in this version and the improved camera and also improved battery and again like every year plenty just a new processor which is a 15 band pro max is like the same with a bigger display and a bigger battery and this year in 2022 we are hoping to get a new improved and amazing iphone 14 series thank you guys for watching hit the like and subscribe peace out